Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Emma and I have been having so much fun creating Christmas cards, fun holiday Christmas cards this year. Um, and I've been really, really enjoying creating these Christmassy buildings that have so much fun, so much joy in them. And they're really, really easy to make. Now, I think the hardest part is maybe making your line straight for buildings like these. But I wanted to show you guys how you could make some fun, simple ones, maybe cut them out after, glue them on another card and make some really sweet Christmas cards this Christmas season. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start with this piece right here. So to do this, all I did was I filled in some watercolor squares, maybe put some roofs, roofs, however you say, on top of these houses and let it dry. So if you want to start with that step, you can pause this video. It's really just a quick wash. It is nothing complicated. You're just getting the color on there and laying it dry so that can be the background for your pen. If you have finished doing that step, now we can go on to the next one. I have two different pens. I love Le Pen. This is my new favorite ink, inking pen. It is not waterproof though, so I really recommend waiting for these to dry. You shouldn't really mix ink anyway with them. And I have one that is a very fun tip. We're gonna use that. And then one that is more of a thin marker tip, but it's a lot thicker. So you can see right here that has that thick kind of line and then the fine liner has a very fine line, almost like a micron. If you wanna use microns, that's totally fine. You can use whatever pens you have, just get a thinner one and a thicker one. First, what I like to do is go in with my thicker marker to do the outline of all the buildings. Now I'm going to use this as a little reference. This is one that I created, the startup one that I've created. Um, and we're gonna reference these, these right here. So first we're gonna start with some curved windows up here and we're just gonna put two right next to each other. So we're gonna make a little arch shape. We can just do it side by side. It almost looks like an eye that's closed. And then put the bottom. And then we're gonna go do some straight lines down and then a straight line across the bottom. And we're going to put the window panels in, if that's what they're called. And we're going to do a little bottom part there of the windowsill. Next, we're gonna go in with this really fun, almost kind of awning, and we're going to actually center it between these two. Now, I thought it would be fun to have the red pop through and maybe we'll even add a little white gel pen at the end. So we're gonna go and put these three little rectangles and then color the rest, but leave those three rectangles not colored in because we're gonna have that red pop through. So they're just gonna be red or pink, whatever color. And you don't have to make these the same color as mine. You don't have to make the same design, but this is a great, just a great way to really just stretch your creativity, add some fun little elements to your buildings. Now we're going to do these little humps um, at the bottom. And then we're gonna go in with like a window that has a little gate almost, and we could put a little Christmas tree inside. That would be cute. So just draw a square underneath a rectangle. And then we're going about halfway down, draw a line straight across and draw some parallel lines, vertical lines that are parallel. And draw the little circles on top because this is like a little gate. And then we're gonna draw behind it the little bit of the window. And I'm just gonna draw a little Christmas tree inside. And I'm going to actually fill it in black just so it pops. 
tops a little bit more. And it's okay if it covers that gate you just did, maybe draw the tree trunk. If you don't want to put anything inside there, that is fine too. And now we're going to go with a little door. It's going to kind of be like that, but we are going to put it in the center. So first we're going to draw that arch. And then below it, we will make the door frame. Now this is like the window part of the door frame. And we're going to draw a little line up top, some of the window, and then just continue that line down. And so after that, we're just going to make straight line that then curves above that one arch and goes back down and maybe add a little doorknob like where the keyhole is of the door. Now I think it would be fun to just add a gate on either side so let's draw some horizontal lines there and then do those parallel vertical lines again leaving a little space between each one and drawing a little circles on the top. Okay, now for the roof, I kind of want to do this curved little pattern and maybe alternate it with some straight lines. So, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be as curved or uncurved as you'd like if you wanted to do a different pattern now. That is fine too. And we're just going to make the roof like maybe a checkered, a cool checkered pattern. That would be fun. Okay, now I feel like, I feel like that's good. Only thing is that I feel like this needs a little bit more detail up here, so I'm just going to make another arch inside the arch and maybe do some straight lines. Okay, now let's move on to the next house. So we're going to draw some windows with shutters up here, but we're going to color in the shutters black. So let's do, why don't we do some skinny windows and let's make four. So we actually might get five in. Yep, we'll, we'll get five in just so it balances it out and they all look centered in the middle of the house. And we're going to draw our lines for the windows. And we are going to make some shutters. Now at this point I would say color it in with your thicker marker just to save on ink for your five liner. These are a little bit squished together but that's okay it just adds to the handmade quality of this card and then let's quickly color in these shutters. Let's make a wreath here down below and we're just gonna make a donut shape and we're just gonna fill it in with some little leaf shapes. You can do this with your finer liner, but I kind of felt like switching it up with the thicker marker. Maybe add some little squiggles. Sometimes I'll add some bows to it. Do whatever you feel works. And let's just make a giant Christmas tree here on the left. I think that could be really cute. Maybe put some ornaments on it. You can fill in the trunk. You can make it look like it has maybe some garland or some kind of thin string along it and let's put a little star on top that looks cute. Now we are going to go for this kind of shape. It's sort of like this little awning type thing over that door and we're going to kind of do the same thing except we'll leave the whites, it's not really white space, but we'll leave some of the lines not colored in so that you can have some green pop through. Okay. 
and then just draw your door after I draw the outline of this door I'm gonna switch over to my fine liner my finer liner pen and we're just gonna make a small rectangle up here and kind of do a little curved pattern on the pane of the glass and we're going to go in with these longer rectangles three of them for part of the wood on the door and then of course a little doorknob and a space for a keyhole that looks cute you can alternate to add dimension between the thicker and thinner lines I've noticed that helps it pop a little bit more and now we're going to move on to our last house over here so for this one, we're just gonna do like three big windows. Now this one, we are not basing off any of these. I obviously just did two of those, but that kind of gives you an idea of maybe some shapes that you wanna draw. So we are going to just put a line down the middle and then do three across on each window. So it will give you four on each side of that middle line so we got those and then let's make a fun little like brick pattern going across here in the center so just add two lines make a really long rectangle and then just put some lines straight up and down to form that next we are going to do another little curved arched window with maybe a line going down the center then branch out two lines to form the glass give it a little different shape maybe for this one we will show a Christmas tree inside it but we won't color it in this time so it's just like a little red Christmas tree and we could even color around the background so it just pops a little more or if you have a white gel pen you could put that in And then we're going to make a door with steps. So over here, towards the right, we're going to make a little bit of a wider door. So draw your square. And we're going to start with the steps. So do some long rectangles and like have them gradually get a little bit bigger towards the bottom. And let's put a little gate here. So let's put a line across. That'll be the top of the gate. And then just put a few posts. Have them stick up a little bit above the line so you can add the little circles there on the top of each post. If you really want to get creative, you could add some garland maybe across there and white gel pen. I might do that at the end. Now for the door, we're going to add the details. So we're going to do a long rectangle with some lines inside. Then we're going to get the two doors in. So let's draw a square shape within. Separate the doors and then let's add a little bit more detail on top with a few lines going down and then make like a square inside each door and then do two, two door handles. And let's make a little awning but make it a triangle above the door. So. Do the triangle and then let's do some curves inside, sort of like what we did on the roof over there on the left. Um, and I think that's about it. Let's add a little detail up top, maybe do that little brick pattern again. And on the roof, let's put a little weather vane. So a line up top with a circle, a little line making it cross, make a sideways triangle on the one side and then curve and points on the other side and i feel like this looks a little empty so let's just make some weird maze looking patterns on this roof get a little creative maybe have them connect and that looks really fun. Now this roof looks lonely, so I'm going to do some curves and then maybe a straight line. Do two curves. 
in straight line. And I'm just going to draw some cool lines on this. These buildings, their purpose is to look festive. So really, don't worry about what it's going to look like. And now, if you'd like, you can cut this out. I'm going to cut mine out. I'm going to glue it on another card. You can even cut it out, cut the buildings apart, and put them a different way. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so now that I have cut these apart, we're gonna just move them right here. And I have a little eight by eight piece of paper that I'm going to just fold in half. And I'm going to glue them onto here with really just some Elmer's glue. Let's cut off that part on the top. Don't know why that's still there, okay. And I'm going to kind of layer these buildings so it almost looks like, maybe we'll put the green one in the middle. I believe that's how it was. And I'm just gonna kinda layer them. And then I'm gonna glue them down. Okay, so I have now glued these down. And I decided to give this one right here a little bit of space next to the green. This is also a really good time to straighten out your buildings if they get a little crooked when you're drawing them. You can always use a straight edge when you draw them, but I like the wiggly line. So, and you can always use hot glue as well. I just used some Elmer's for the sake of this. I will probably go down with hot glue later, um, but I'm just going to glue these on and you can either glue them how I did or come up with your own way and with the weather vane I just cut it out a circle above it if you want to get really detailed and go in there go for it and do that <laughs> but there you have it a little cute Christmas card that you can give someone this year handmade by you I hope you guys liked this video please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos of creating different things with you guys and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and we'll talk to you later. Bye!